Well, the folk era in popular music uh, was started by the Kingston Trio. I guess there were five groups altogether who were commercially successful. There was the trio, then there were Peter, Paul and Mary, Chad Mitchell Trio, Brothers Four, and the Limelighters. And I worked as a producer, arranger for three of the groups. The only ones I didn't work for were the Kingstons and the Limelighters. But it was very interesting, all of my groups really admired the Kingstons. The Kingstons had set the tone and gave people the appetite for this kind of music. So they were very grateful and listened to every new album that the trio came out with. And their attitudes gradually changed as they became competitors of the trio. But they all acknowledged that if it weren't for the Kingston Trio, they would not have had a career as successfully as they did. I listened carefully to each one and I was impressed with the spice that they put into their arrangements, which I think was responsible for their success. There was always one little added spice that just made their arrangements interesting. And I... Uh, when, when you say spice, like chord changes or harmonies or... The spice I'm talking about is not chord changes as much as the way the voices interplayed with each other and the way they balanced with each other. And I forget who did their uh, arranging and recording, but it was masterfully done. I just, uh, you could hear each part individually and they blended very beautifully. So it was really a lesson and um, I enjoyed very much listening to them and Never really copied them, but took off from their approach. Peter, Paul and Mary was brought to me by their manager, Albert Grossman. And I thought they were absolutely terrible and I didn't want to work with them. And I tried to force them off on some other arrangers in town. Walter Rehm, Bob de Cormier, Stuart Scharf. And they all spent an afternoon listening to them and calling me back. Said, you've got to be kidding, you know, they all refused. And I also, and I reluctantly went ahead with them because if I worked with them, then I might get a chance to work with some of the Albert Grossman clients that I really was interested in, like Hamilton Camp and Bob Gibson and... Uh, so reluctantly, I went ahead and had a giant hit. Not my fault. <laughs> Certainly not my prediction. All of my groups uh, listened very carefully to the Kingstons. They um, and commented on the arrangements they liked and what they didn't think was so good. But when a new album came out, I think all of them went right to the store and bought them and within the next couple of weeks they all referred to the Kingston's work. I listened also and I thought they were sparklingly beautiful, really. <laughs>